Hi, and welcome to another tutorial by the Butler. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Windows sounds. For example, the little sound it plays whenever you get a mail message, uh, or the error sound whenever an error message pops up. I'm going to show you how to change those and make them whatever you want them to be. First, you're going to go up to your Start menu, and go to your Control Panel. And my computer's running as slow as a butt, so I don't know. And I don't know why, so, yeah. If you are in this view right here, category view, then you don't need to be. Go up here to, uh, right under control panel, and it should say switch to classic view. Just click that. Then go over to the sounds and audio devices button. Double click that. Then up here, you'll see volume, sounds, audio, voice, and hardware. Click sounds. And down here, there's a list under Program Events. This is a list of all the sounds that your computer should play by default. So to hear a sound that it would play, just click it and press the little play button. And it will show you the different sounds. Um, yeah. So to customize that sound, you're going to hit we were going to highlight it first just by clicking it, then hit browse, and then find a sound. By default, it'll open up to your uh, Windows sound file that just came with your Windows whenever you installed it. Um, so you can either use one of those, or you can use a custom one. Today I'm going to show you how to use a custom one. Uh, you're just going to have to find a sound file that you have saved. It has to be either in WAV or no, not just WAV. It has to be a WAV file in order to work with this. So either you need to have a WAV music clip or a recording of yourself saying something in WAV format. So I'm going to show you a great program for doing that. Open up your internet browser and Google Safari. Not Safari, sorry, what am I saying? Audacity, Google Audacity. Then click the first link. Then go to the download tab over here on this page. And since you're watching this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna assume you're on Windows. And just click the <clears throat> stable 1.2 for all users version. I wouldn't use the beta just yet because I still got some kinks that they're working out. Uh, Anyway, yeah, then right here, you'll see the Audacity 1.2.6 installer. Just click that, and it should open up a SourceForge page. It did. You're just going to want to download that. Hit save, save it to your desktop. Then, uh, just for the future, I would also recommend downloading the lame MP3 encoder right here because uh, that allows Audacity to export mp3 files because it can't do that just when you download Audacity so yeah uh, click that link go to the lame download page this isn't necessary for the tutorial for this tutorial but it's handy for the future use if you're gonna do a lot of sound editing uh, then you're gonna go down here to uh, Audacity for Audacity on Windows and just click that and then save that to your desktop or somewhere that you can find it also. Uh, then once the download's done, you're going to, wait a minute, crap it, I actually don't have that yet. Somebody uninstalled it off my computer. Hang on, sorry. Have to go and download it again. Anyway, yeah, you're going to save that to your desktop. Once, you do, once it's done downloading, you're just going to find it. Uh, I have to do it this way because I have my desktop icons turned off, but yours are probably on, so just find it on your desktop. Uh, if they're off, then go to My Computer, click this little drop-down thingy, and it should be there, but it's not. Uh, nope, I lied. Go to My Documents. Eh, 
Anyway, you should be able to get the desktop on there. Just find your desktop and then run the install. Where is it? Ha, ah, there it is. Yeah, just double click it, hit run. Next, I accept obviously, next, next. Choose where you want to install it. install then it should install relatively quickly no matter how slow your computer is because it's not that huge a file and you're going to open that up I have to drop it down to my toolbar down here all right open that up then uh, you should see a page that looks similar to this and to record yourself saying something, you just go up here to the record button and uh, click it and then say whatever you want to say. So I'm going to say, uh, you have mail. So yeah, just say whatever you want to say. It doesn't really matter because uh, it's your own computer. Then you're going to go up here, here to a uh, file, export as WAV, name your file, and then save it. Then you can close that out. We won't need that anymore. Go to your start menu, back to the control panel, sounds and audio devices, sounds. All right, then select the sound that you want to get rid of or that you want to change. Browse, desktop, or not desktop, but wherever you have your file saved. Select the file, hit OK, hit apply, and there you have it. Your sounds are changed. I'll do a tutorial later on of how to make music clips uh, how to make it into music clips pretty much it's just it'll just be an audacity tutorial because you use the same process but you just have to shorten your music and save it as wav so for those of you that are slightly computer illiterate that'll be good uh, yeah this has been a tutorial by the butler hope you like it if you didn't screw you yeah have fun don't die